I, I think that it's it's not as easy as, um, as as we sometimes believe when we're younger to fall in love. I think it's pretty rare. You maybe you you know you might fall in love a couple of times in your life, but but maybe not as many times as you think. So when you do meet someone and you and you do fall in love, it's it's a big deal. It's a, it's a really really big deal. I mean, what was really interesting was just the exploration of a long-term marriage and, and what happens when people do become disengaged or disenfranchised from one another and how you, how you figure out what your next step is going to be. I think it's rare to see that in a film and even rarer to see it explored comedically. That, you know, you have children, you have jobs, you have a house to take care of, you have a yard to take care of, you have all this stuff that kind of gets in the way of, of why you were together in the first place. And I think it's, it's very easy to get kind of separated from that. I think it's like with any movie. It's great, it's, it's great story, really, you know. Um, and, y you know, the, the, the idea of having something formulaic work, I don't think it does. I don't think people respond to that. You know, when you think of the great romantic comedies like, like um, Annie Hall or Tootsie, or when Harry met Sally, or something, they were all they were all completely surprising and offbeat and not so-called traditional, you know, boy meets girl romantic comedies. So I think that that's I, th I think that's really what makes something good. You know, I've always liked it. I like to work with a lot of actors, and and, the, and with this group, I think we were extremely extremely fortunate. It's such a really wonderfully talented group. It was, it was. Everybody, as well as being, you know, I think extremely talented, they were all so nice and easy to get along with and fun. And, and I, I, th I think it was just, you know, there's once there's a scene at the end of the movie where everybody's in the backyard and that, t that was just fun because it was nice to be with everybody. I think my first moment was everybody's first moment in Anchor, is it Anchorman? Was it Anch yeah, or no, it was, it was, a, it wasn't Anchorman, it was Evan Almighty. Bruce Almighty, which was the one where he played the guy, you know, I don't remember the movie, I just remember him, where he plays the anchorman that goes berserk. And I can remember watching the movie with my family, and I was like, oh, who is that guy? Oh, my God, I'd never seen anything like it. I really, and I literally can't remember anything else in the movie but him. So, I mean, I think that was it, and I'm a huge fan of The Office, and, and so I'd seen, you know, a lot of that. And he's just a really, really wonderful actor.